Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to episode number 70 of our My Team Journey. Today is time for round number 10 in Austria. It's a sprint, a sprint race weekend um, and we have to renew a new sponsor. And I think we are just going to renew it. We don't want another sponsor. We are happy with the sponsor that we have. And we only have two days in between um, what we can fill in with our activities. So we did that with some GeForce training for Carlos Sainz, of course, he is rated 100, so probably nothing is going to change. He's still going to be the fastest out there, uh, and I don't think that anything about that will change. As you can see, um, my weekend tire allocation is always softer, uh, also in, um, in sprint race weekends, but maybe that was a mistake because now I only have one set of mediums. And I can use it maybe in the sprint or in the big one. So it's or the sprint in the hearts or the uh, big one in the hearts. So yeah, as you can see, there was a big difference in points between us and our teammate. But we are still leading the championship in the constructors. So let's get into this weekend. Okay, let's see what we can do as qualifying isn't our best part of the weekend. Uh, so here we go for our first lap in Q1. You can see it's still dry. It looks a bit cloudy, so maybe it's going to rain at the end of the session. That's why this time uh, I am going out early, just because maybe if it rains, uh, it could help us compared to maybe my teammate or other rivals that we have, uh, because they might get out too late and end up in the bottom six. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, first lap is done and it puts us P2, a second uh, behind Perez. So we are going for another lap, as you can see, 7 tenths is the difference between us uh, now and us uh, last lap. So yeah, that's a big difference and as we cross the line, it's once again P2 uh, and now only 2.5 tenths behind Perez. And that's actually enough for Q1, so we have P8, uh, so hopefully that can also happen in Q2. So let's move on to that one as Carlos Sainz didn't even manage to get P1 in Q1. So maybe he has lost his pace. Maybe uh, because he got a weird DNF last time around, uh, he decided to just turn it down a bit and make sure that he can finish every single lap. Uh, but yeah, we are still going for it at maximum pace. You can see, I don't know how I did this. Um, to be honest, I really thought that it would invalidate, but for some reason it didn't. And as we are now in P10, we still need another lap, so let's see what we can do. Charles Claire behind me at P11, he is our main rival, as he is currently P2 in the driver's handings. Getting past Ocon without any problems, which is quite handy as well, because otherwise we would be out here in uh, Q2. And that's what, something that we don't want. Of course, we have the sprint race, uh, but we are, now, uh, we are now improving by 7 tenths of a second. And that puts us up to P4 actually, so that should be enough. To get ourselves through to the next part of qual, never mind. How is this some kind of bug in F122 that the AI improved so much in their second uh, in their second run in qualifying? Because I didn't, I really didn't think that I would be out. Uh, you can see the gap was absolutely nothing uh, as we are now starting the sprint race. You can see Carlos Sainz in P1, uh, my two main rivals Sainz and Leclerc in P1 and P2. Myself, I am in P11 behind uh, Yuki Tsunoda and in front of Liam Lawson. So hopefully we can make up a few places and as, and as you can see, um, we are using our mediums now. So that means that if uh, we want to use mediums in the big race, well then we have a problem because this is our only set that we have for the weekend. So yeah, the final cars are getting ready to go and the five lights are coming on. We are starting in P11 for the sprint race here in Austria. And it's lights out and away we go. Not the best start, you can see we are already losing a position to Ocon. But, uh, but we keep ahead of Pierre yeah, Gasly going around the other side. Maybe we can gain the position back. Yes, we can. Oh no, never mind. A lot of uh, wheel spin. But luckily we are still on track, so hopefully we can go to the inside of our car. No, we are not going to the inside. We are actually going around the outside. Oh boy. 
almost crashing into his teammate uh, Liam Lawson. And as you can see, now we are up two positions and we are no more behind the Alpines as we are now side by side with Yuki Tsunoda, a bit of a uh, wheel tap, but we are for the inside line getting a bit of oversteer, um, but we had to correct it and we are still on track. So now up into P9, going for the fight with Perez. As you can see, he is not that far off the road as he didn't have the quali right, best qualifying himself and I think he's going into the pits as well. Okay, so that brings us up to P8 for now, uh, but of course my teammate is still in P1 and he is the man who we want to beat because we are already uh, getting to the halfway stage in this uh, season as we are going around the other side of the them, but unfortunately it didn't work. Uh, but yeah, we are getting uh, to round 11, which means that we are on the halfway point of the season. Uh, and that means that uh, we need to renew our teammates, and of course we want to renew with Carlos Sainz. But if we want to become a double world champion in the driver standing, well, then we have a problem. Because um, Carlos Sainz is at the moment so far ahead that I don't even think that I can catch him up. Um, as it's only been 10 races and I think his lead over me is around 80 to 90 points at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's quite big and as you can see in lap 5 we are up in P7 um, But we couldn't get the fight to Alonso and Russell ahead I don't know what happened, but it was in the middle of I think lap 5, lap 6 or something like that uh, The pace was just gone uh, It was maybe something with the tires that they uh, got a bit too hot or something like that But I don't know, um, it was just like, as you can see right now uh, we locked up a few times and we made a few mistakes just like that one uh, But it's yellow flags and it looks like George Russell is out of the session So that's one free position for us um, And as you can see we are now starting in P6 for tomorrow But of course the race isn't over yet and Liam Lawson and Yuki Tsunoda are both behind me in P7 and 8 Almost within one second but now in lap 12 they are still fighting I am still doing my laps uh, and we are now getting to the end of this race um, so not that much happened, uh, of course, in the previous seasons there was a lot of chaos in this sprint race, but this time around Carlos Sainz wins it, just like every other race, um, and yeah, nothing else to say about it. We are crossing the line though in P6, so that's our starting position for tomorrow. Not the worst, uh, of course I would have liked to be in the top 5, as you could know that goes uh, flying past me, but we are still P6, so don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, I would have loved to be in the top 5 to see that we have the pace compared to the Ferraris and um, to Daniel Ricciardo of 7 and Carlos Sainz of course. Uh, but unfortunately that wasn't it. Uh, our fast lap was equal to Leclerc, Alonso and Ricciardo, but Verstappen and Sainz are still 3-4 uh, to four times faster and that's quite a lot. This is it then, race day in Spielberg for this year's Austrian Grand Prix. Not long to go before our drivers hurtle off the line and into the first turn, the Nicky Lauda curve. It was renamed in 2019 in memory of one of Formula One's most beloved figures. It's a short lap here in Spielberg with just 10 corners, seven to the right and three to the left, making up the total distance of 2.6 miles. And expect to see a lot of cars running wide today, especially through the last corner, as the wet conditions make the cars skittish through the downhill section. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Lightning, and Sonoda, Liam Lawson, Gasly, Magnussen, and Oscar Piastri, Albon, Joe. Sergio Perez and Leclerc. Tictum, Mick Schumacher, Robert Schwartzman and Nicholas Latifi. Norris, Stroll, Ocon and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, oh boy. Uh, no. It's raining. It's raining, uh, and as you guys know, the AI is immediately adapted to the rain, and as I am a human, I am not an AI, well, that means that I have a lot of struggles that are going to come my way, just because I don't 
know how to drive in the wet. Um, it's not because I'm bad at it, it's just that I need to get used to it every time that I do it. So hopefully we manage to do it quickly as we only have 36 laps and it's lap 1 starting right now in P5. Losing a position to Yuki Tsunoda but we are still side by side with him. Going once again around the other side, a lock up for us as we go off track as well. Can we get the position back? Yes we can. Oh a bit of oh my god, a bit of overseer there. Um, but yeah, luckily we are still on track side by side with Liam Lawson. Can we hold the inside line? Yes, we can. Can we stay ahead of him? Well, that's another question. We will be answering right now. Yes, we can. We are now up into P6. Uh, actually, we got down from uh, from P5. So we lost a position. Um, but yeah, we are still in P6. So don't worry. We have 30, uh, 36 laps. Um, but th these first laps are going to be difficult. As we are still getting used to the intermediate uh, weather. Uh, as you can see the gap ahead is currently 2.6 seconds. Which is quite big at a lap where it's only 1 minute 20 in the rain. Uh, and even less in the dry. Around 1 minute 8, 1 minute 9. I think that's the pace uh, what we want in this car. As we are side by side with Liam Larson going off track. But luckily we stay ahead without any warnings, any penalties. And we can just continue our race. Uh, so yeah, we need to up the pace, of course, but as long as we are not used to these... Um, as long as we are not used to these uh, conditions, well, it will be pretty difficult. But as you can see now in lap 6 already, uh, we are starting to get used to it. And now we are upping the pace quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, the gap ahead is still 2.6 seconds. Um, but we are bringing that down to hopefully overtake him before it gets to dry. Because that will be at the halfway stage of the race, I think. Uh, but yeah, now as you can see in lap 10 already, uh, Leclerc just moved up to P8. As he... Uh, I don't know what happened to him. I think he got a penalty. As we are getting closer to Yuki Tsunoda. But oh boy, once again I start making mistakes as soon as I need to push a bit more. And that's not good. That's not good at all. We need to up the pace as far as possible to make sure that we can stay within that one second gap. To Tsunoda, uh, because if the DRS gets enabled, well, then we will we will easily pass him uh, as we go deep into turn four, uh, and there is a yellow flag, and that means virtual safety. Oh, why not a full safety car? Because a full safety car would have held us so much more than this. As you can see, it's green flag running on again, and nothing has changed. If we were uh, with a full safety car, well, then we could have caught up to Tsunoda, Ricciardo, uh, Alonso, Verstappen and uh, Sainz, but that hasn't happened as for some reason, as soon as the track started to dry up, I just couldn't fight the pace anymore and I needed to get off the tires. That's why I decided to box this lap as well, even though my teammate is in. Um, my engineer told me to just stay out one more lap, but I decided like, no, I need to get off these tires, they are way too hot. And into the pits we go. You can see Alonso is going to the mediums. I think everybody is going to the mediums. But unfortunately we only have new hearts. So we are going on the hearts. Which is going to be pretty difficult in these first few laps. As it's not only cold tyres. But it's also uh, a very wet surface still. Um, but we come out of the pits with a 2.3 second pit stop. And just ahead of Liam Lawson. So we almost lost a position. But it didn't matter either way. Because there he goes. He has so much more grip on those mediums. And also because it's still transitioning from wet to dry. And that's so hard to drive around. But I'm doing my best to stay with Liam Lawson. Um, to get behind with Claire. I don't know. It's going to come down real quick. As you can see from 5 to 4 seconds already. Just in a few laps. Or maybe just one lap even. Um, so that's not good at all. Uh, Liam Lawson is getting away from me as well. He was my first ever teammate in Season 1 and now, well now he's finally beating me. Because uh, in that first season he was nowhere near my pace and now he is fast even though he's in a slower car so I don't get it. Maybe it was just a team, maybe he got too much pressure or maybe it's just because he had a few years of experience. As Leclerc is getting so much faster, a second faster than my last lap. So now he's getting within one second. I don't know if the DRS is enabled yet. Uh, it could well be that the DRS is still disabled as we have a lockup on those hearts. That's not good because they are already so slow. 
but it's all it is also that uh, we aren't even able to push on them because as soon as we start to push well then we go deep into every corner just like this one and now side by side with Charles Claire but he leaves the space and that means that we can uh, continue our day in P7 um, but yeah Carlos Sainz is leading this Grand Prix and his two main rivals in the championship is um, Charles Claire and myself so he is loving his race he's loving his life and we are here fighting for a few points as we are now starting lap uh, 24 of 36 two thirds of the race has been done now as we collide with Charles Blair, not too much. I don't have any damage. Hopefully he doesn't have any damage. Well, maybe he has, and that would be really handy for us because that would mean that we don't have to, oh, never mind. I want to say that we don't need to defend. Well, we actually don't need to, as you can see, I was pretty angry uh, because I'm de I need to finish all the races and now I'm well, once again out. Smiling faces on the pit wall then after that superb win here in Spielberg. Oh boy, yeah, as you can see, Carlos Sainz wins the race for Seppin in P2 and Alonso in P3. Well, I wasn't too happy with it, that's why I didn't shoot a podium at all, I couldn't care any less about it. Um, so yeah, we could have finished in P6, uh, but unfortunately that didn't happen as we finished in P21. It did not finish a DNF, and that is a big one for us. 105 points to Carlos Sainz, and we've dropped um, into P4, so yeah, there's a long way. And a lot of points to gain in just uh, 12 races. Um, so yeah, we are still leading by 106 points over Red Bull. And still four teams haven't scored a single point yet. And only 13 of 22 drivers have scored a point. So you can see the difference between teams are massive. Um, but that's been it for today's episode. If you want to see the French Grand Prix, which is coming up next Thursday, well then... Like and subscribe if you want to join the Discord. Join the Discord and if you want to see me live streaming and fighting with you guys in open lobbies. Well then, uh, check my channel out because we are probably live right now. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.